Okay, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Hucolo Saturday weekly webinar. Uh, we have Jim Charles with us again this morning. We're so excited to welcome him back. Um, it is October 1st of 2016, so Things are getting moving here with the rest of our year. Um, and so thank you for joining us this morning. Jim, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Um, keeping in good spirits. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone knows, but my father is going into hospice on Monday. So, but uh, we're praying for him. Send him your love and your prayers. Uh, he is at the final stages of renal failure. So I would, we're all praying for him, but I'm going to visit him this coming week. So if you have a session planned for any time next week, <laughs> I'm going to, um, uh, I haven't got in touch with you yet to schedule it probably. Monday I will be here, so Tuesday through Saturday I may not. So. Um, if you have a session scheduled between that period, I'll be, I'll be getting a hold of you because I'll probably have to cancel that for this week and make it to the following week. And if you have requests in for sessions, I haven't got back to everybody yet because I just don't know all the things that are going on yet. And when I have my final plans done, I will get in touch with you. So, except I will be back by next week. So those that have things scheduled for next week, I, I'm keeping them on the schedule. So that's cool. Okay. That sounds good to hear, Not Jim. This week, but next. Yeah, we definitely so. are sending our blessings and our healing for your father. And um, we hope it's a, a smooth process. So um, with that said, then, I don't think we've gone over – um, requests yet for yeah. any beings. Does anybody have any requests? Any requests for beings? We have Takur and Anubis. Um, request. And Grindel. <laughs> Grindel. Love Grindel. Okay. Uh, Amok. Amok. Okay. Anybody? So, I heard several to to curs there. Sixties hairstyle. Yeah, that's the small one. She never paid off her makeup look. We never I had Sarah. It'd be nice to have Sarah. Sarah. Or, or um, <clears throat> some of the women on the side of the biblical. Let's let's. Oh, Abraham, Sarah. Spiritual story. It'd be nice to hear their side. No. Abraham Sarah. Okay, I understand that. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. There's another Sarah. I'm sorry, Sarah. <laughs> we thought you meant we wanted to channel Sarah who is already sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Christine. Yeah. Oh, and she Sarah. also wanted Sheba. She yes. Sheba. Boy, Sheba, wouldn't that be neat to hear about Sheba's side of the story of why she went to go visit this person? Yes. Okay. <laughs> History is interesting. History. Yes. So There's a lot of very interesting historical people. Absolutely. Yes. Shiva. Uh, okay. Maybe Sophia. I'm, I haven't heard Sophia channeled, but. Who is Sophia? Uh, um, Who is Sophia? Seems to be the divine feminine consciousness of all creation. <laughs> ah. Yeah. A creator yeah. being. A creator being then. Yeah. Okay. I think. Anybody else? <laughs> Everyone um, is welcome. Shell from the There uh, we go. Shell, Shell, did you say? Okay. Yeah, she said Shell. And also, oh, here we have more people coming in. Ah, John, hi. <coughs> uh, no, we're just getting started now. Awesome. And actually, on that note, Jim, I can introduce everyone in the room with us this morning, and then you can introduce who you have. Okay, very um, good. So, for now, right now, we have Astrid, uh, Carolina, Christine, Christopher, Damien, Fran Frantisek, Fr I'm sorry, Franti. Frantisek, yes. Frantisek, okay. <laughs> I'm doing my best. 
Holly, uh, Jim, Jess, Justin, Kirash, Krelik, Mark, Pavel, Sam, Sarah, Sheldon, Sheer, Stephanie, Wendy, and myself, Bree. So good morning, everyone. And Jim, who's in the room with you? I have Ray and Barbara and David, Lana, John, Garrett, and Angie. So awesome. We have a nice group in here today. Very nice energy. It's beautiful. Definitely. And, um, who, is there anybody that wants to start with a prayer? I have an announcement. I will. Okay. If that's okay. Oh, wait. Before we do the prayer, he has an announcement. Ray has an announcement. Yeah. What is it? Here. All right. First off, can you hear me okay? Yes. Yes, we can. All right. All right. Good. Good. This comes from a friend of mine on Facebook, and her name is Spirit Girl. She's given a letter of affirmation of what Hukalo has done. Oh. Okay. I would like to give my heartfelt thank you to the entire Hukalo community. The kindness and of messages of hope and love have affected me deeply. The blessings, the beings that are channeled are pure love. And it makes me happy that people like you and the beings of light exist to give hope to humanity. When Jim channels to Kerr Lakesh and the many others, it truly shows the intent of hope. To a girl searching for answers and finding them. It has brought joy and bliss for the future. To that, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. That's so nice. And many Thank blessings. You. Oh, that was very nice. Thank you. Nice. Wow, Thank what a beautiful, I'm giving what a a beautiful blessing. Gorgeous. Like, wow, what a way to start the weather. Well, thank you. That was very beautiful. Lovely. That was amazing, and I second all of that <laughs> for myself. <laughs> really, this has been absolutely life-changing, being a part of this. So thank you, everybody. Well, thank you. You do a great job. Thank you very much for all your. Everyone chips in and does something, or they're they or they are a great example. So I thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. Is anybody the people just to... watching this later yes. on? They're contributing their energy, and we thank you. And is there anybody that wants to say a prayer today? Yes, I will, Jim. Sarah. Before the. Before the prayer, Sarah, thank you for volunteering oh. first. I um, forgot if I'm going to read the um, events coming up that can oh. be located on our humancolony.org website. You can always check. We have a calendar that auto updates on there. Um, as well as I will mention humancolony.org slash jump is a permanent link to our updated document that shows all of our event links with participation links and YouTube watch links. So we update that and then people can um, access it that way. Wow. So, cool. Yeah. So that's very nice. So check that out if you're looking for a participation link and you don't know if it's been posted yet. Um, so on to the calendar of events. So, so tomorrow, Jim and Max are doing the Reiki 1B class. So that's the second class of, of the first level. Oh, correction. And that was are you last still going to do it? Yeah. Um, oh, my gosh. We don't have a class tomorrow. Yes, last, <laughs> last Sunday. I'm so sorry. I'm reading, I'm reading the okay. wrong thing. Do you, Jim, do you know when the next one is scheduled for? I don't. We are working on that now. It'll probably okay. be at the, toward the end of October. It'll. Okay. Pro we're deciding whether we should do a Reiki two class or a channeling class. So well, Reiki two, please. 
Uh, so we'll be getting together and discussing it because there's requests for both. So we're, okay. we don't know what we're going to do next. Whatever we get the most requests for. I'm, I uh, vote for Reiki too. Reiki too, okay. <laughs> me too, me too. Yes, I'd be interested in Reiki too as well. Okay. Reiki too, probably toward the end of the month, we'll get back to you and okay. uh, on that. Yeah, wonderful. So people just uh, keep up to date with humancolony.org, check out the calendar, ask people if you're not sure. Um, so then with that said, next Saturday, we have Karen Newman is nice enough to come back and join us for another Saturday webinar. That'll be at 11 a.m. EDT again. Um, and then the following or no, on that same day, Jim is going to be a part of the channel panel, which I believe well, that was started by, um, is that Rob Gothier's? Um, yes. Uh, it goes, yeah, for the eighth and the, goes the 8th and the 9th. I'll be appearing on the 9th at, uh, on Sunday at 8 o'clock at night, Eastern Standard Time. That is so exciting. I cannot wait to see you on there, Jim. I know currently for everybody who's interested, the previous channel panel is available online until I think it's the 8th. They're having it online for free. You can go check it out on YouTube. Um, look for uh, ET Whisper or Reality. Oh, boy. I'm going to get yeah, it. If you, if you look up the channel panel, you'll find channel it. Or, or yeah, ET Whisper. Yeah. Yeah, so check it. It's, it's absolutely amazing. It's eight hours of awesomeness, so please check that out. And Jim, we're so excited for you to be a part of the next one. So those are the uh, events coming up. And um, so does anybody have any other events they'd like to announce quick before we well, go to Blessing? And everybody can, everybody can buy tickets too, right, guys? I mean, you can, you can like, pay the live stream and watch it. You can write so you can buy tickets to the event for next weekend. Yes, it's a pay-per-view. Right. Fifty-five dollars so for both days and thirty-five dollars mm -hmm. for one day. So which is a great deal. So yeah, awesome. Oh, awesome! It, yeah. It is cool. Great. I didn't know it was that. I've, I've had there, a couple people tell me already that they've purchased Sunday so they can watch me. So that was very nice of them. <laughs> uh, there'll probably be people at my home as well watching yeah so. I am sure so we're excited for that Jim and awesome then with that said let's go into blessings Sarah if you'd like to go first and um, if anyone else wants to go after we can just have them line up in the side chat here oh and I will announce I am watching the YouTube live comments so if you want to ask questions on the youtube live live chat please um ask them there and also the google plus hangout box for people who are on mobile i am watching that so please ask questions and i will try to get everybody into the queue so thank you and sarah go right ahead thank you brie do you hear me yes Salata shola e tolotona e salatona yasa kulunta o kataina kosho amaya kiasukolatana kioso akashata loto sai I nayatana kinu kola hasu he shaya hati hokota latana maki kolotona isayatana. It is with great joy and thanks we come together and share love and information with each other. We know that we are one with another connected, but now we will share information of the future of the past and the present so that people may be edified and grow in the thoughts that they need to have for the coming days, weeks, and years. Saika Okoya Asha Otalaya. Ahu shiatala 
Colonna Ayamaka. There is nothing more satisfying than finding hope and satisfaction and joy in the things that are to be said and the times that are to come. Even though there will be challenges, they will be overcome. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you, Sarah. Beautiful. Sure, it looks like you would like to go next. Well, I'll try to do it in galactic language. Let's see if something pops up. That's what's coming. You said the resonations of time and space come through the light and through our thought processes to bring ascension to places that are still low. Wow, thank you, Cher. Excellent. Um, okay, well, I, mm, I'm feeling like I might do a blessing here too. Excellent. Um, Inu Maya Shana Hiyano Ana Yatobo. Be calm and relaxed and filled with love and joy. Let these times together resonate as times of learning and connection. Be one with one another and build your strength on the thoughts that you are not alone and that you will never be alone again. And Spirit is guiding and connecting you with those that are your inner strength. Wonderful. Yes. And with that said, I think we can move forward. And Jim... Let's go ahead and get started. Please allow through anyone who is for our best. Well, there purpose. were so many requests, and I know that some of them are here. So we'll see who comes through. And um, whoever comes through, we just ask them to, you know, bring as much good information as possible. So much love. <laughs> I will see you in a moment. Good morning, Grindel. Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> Take your time. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think you lost some weight. <sighs> Uh, all right, I'm better. Hello. Hi, Grindel. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I just, love you. I know that I haven't spoke to you for a while, and there's a lot of things going on right now. For so, sure. So um, I thought maybe you needed a reptilian perspective on some of this. Please. So because some of these other perspectives are a little namby-pamby, if you know what I mean. 
Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> so you need a little down-to-earthiness every now and then instead of a poofy sky thing, you know. But anyway, not that that's a bad thing, you know. Not. No, no, it's not. But it is a little too, uh, I mean, they, they sugarcoat it to the point where it's like too sweet for me. But anyway, yeah, I, I, I need you to ask some questions because I know there's some questions out there that need some really down to earth answers. So give it to me. Okay, well, hey, before we ask any questions, I'm seeing a few lining up here, but I'd really like to know if you have anything you want to tell us right now at this time. I mean, it's October 1st. Everybody's talking about these changes that are coming, and we got oh, all this yeah. information last week at the webinar through Bashar. So can you speak on any of this? Yeah, I can. There's a lot of changes coming. Some of them are not so sweet, but it'll turn out to be in your best interests in the long run if you know what i mean but like this presidential thing yeah but anyway that's all i'm going to comment on that because it's just the most ridiculous thing i've ever seen but i have to tell you right now there are some energies that are coming into play people are feeling tired antagonized angry frustrated You'll get used to these energies and they will balance out and you will catch up with them. So try to be as sweet as possible, like me. So, you know, I'm, although sounding a little gruff, I am still a sweet and wonderful guy. So I speak with my big old reptilian heart. So, um, yeah, so we love you for that. But, yeah, it's going to be tough for some of you, especially some of the channelers that are not feeling all that great right at, right at this time. And the energies are such that if you if you'd rest a little more, you feel a little better. It is because the energies are so fast. They're moving a lot faster than what your body is used to. And so they're bringing you down. They told me to let you know about that. I think somebody else told you about that too, but I don't know. That the thing is, you'll catch up. But it's not just one set of energies. It's earth energies, fourth dimensional energies, energies from the center of the galaxy, blah, blah, blah. So you don't have to know what they are. Just get used to it, okay? Try to integrate as much as possible through meditation. Like intend your meditations to bring this energy in so that it makes you feel good and not crappy. So a lot of people are just hanging in there and they're not really dealing with it. So deal with it, okay? Do not just walk around with grumpiness all around. Just do something about it. So um, intend your meditations for it all to come in and equal out. And it will work a little faster. Spirit has a way of helping out, you know? So. But anyway, any other questions? Oh, that was my comment, but any other questions? Okay, thanks, Grindel. Yeah, yeah we do have some questions. Uh, first up, we have Sheer. Yeah, hey, Sheer, baby. How's it going? <laughs> How is Sparkle? Spiracles? Sparkle. Sparkle? Who is Sparkle? Oh, yes. All right, he's fine. What do you want to know about him? He's or she's? Whatever. Your it's just helper. energy to me. Ah, okay. Um, no, just um, from my, what I know, I know that you have a new assistant. Oh, Sparkle. Oh, I thought you were talking about another reptilian that I know. But Sparkle is yes the female counterpart that you guys are talking about sparkle is a female that helps me out every now and then she's doing great um but i haven't seen her for a couple of days because i've been traveling a lot in behalf on behalf of 
some of the people of this planet are sending me around to different places to do a couple different things. So, uh, but I haven't seen her in a couple days, but I know that she's doing very well. Okay, and I only and I also want to ask you, you will understand the question. Uh, what about the meeting after the summer or earlier uh, October? Yes. The one that's coming in December. Uh, oh, your meeting. Yeah. Or do you mean the next meeting of the government? I will speak with you in private, but what about the government meeting? Yeah, it's coming in December. Probably very close to the middle, 13th through the 18th, something like that. Don't worry, it'll come. I see. And anything that we're supposed to speak about? Anything new? Oh, uh, yes. You will have plenty to speak about by the time December gets here, believe me. So uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. You'll have a lot more information because a lot of things are going to happen. At least, apparently, at this time, the way things are moving, there's a lot of things going to happen. It doesn't look like things are going to be stopped. Um, there was a possibility for one thing to happen or two things or three things. Right now, it looks like everything's gonna gonna transpire. Oh, that's great! I know that's a, well, great, yeah, a great sound. Know, but you'll you'll decide then. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, I will speak with you privately. Thank you very much, and it's good to see you. I love to see you, Sheer. Who has another question? Um, so, Grindel, since we're still talking about these changes, I have this burning desire to ask if it is related at all to, because um, we know, <laughs> we've had all these things ruled out, and I know we have to just keep guessing, because that's what we do, right, and yeah. try to not have expectations, but um, yeah. is it relating to stuff outside of humanity and Earth, or is it solely Some stuff here? It. But there's stuff right here on your planet. A lot of it is right here, yeah. third-dimensional bullcrap that you're going to have to deal with. So, oh. um, And in saying that, it's going to make a lot of changes in the way you think about things in the future. It's going to make a, a, a great deal of difference to how your, your life is. Um, how you move on in a thought process that was once one way and now it's another way. And that's all I can tell you about that. But yes, it's very much third dimensional. Much of it is. About 80% 80, 80 of it is third dimensional. Oh, yeah. Interesting. All right. Well, yeah. prayers and blessings to everyone for everything coming up. Definitely. Yeah, okay. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Grendel. Yeah, whatever. So, okay, next we have a question from Sam. Sam. Hey, Grendel. Hey. I miss you. Of course you do. <laughs> I miss you too, though. You know, I miss Earthlings sometimes. Don't tell anybody. Ha ha. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Earthlings are pretty cool at times. Y you know, whenever, you know, you put... Put your big boy pants on. So. <laughs> yeah, you. you're cool. Um, I got a question regarding some politics here. Um, there was some rumor that um, um, what's her name, the lady? That? Um, I forgot. The the ladies, the uh, the ones running against Trump, Hillary. Ah, uh, Hillary. Yeah, they said uh, they said, uh, she might be dead, and they're using a clone to uh, represent her. Is that true or that's just rumor? Can you clarify no, that? No, that's not true. She's not dead yet. Okay. Okay. And uh, can you give us a little bit <clears throat> more information on what's going on with the, this politics? The politics, yes. Your people are really starting to see the actual personalities of these people during the debates. And about 50% of the population, I find this interesting, is just sticking with their candidate because the other one isn't any better. But they know their candidate sucks. So they absolutely know that. 
they absolutely know they're they're both liars and cheats and well the one I, i'm not gonna go into it but anyway um yeah they're gonna just stick who they're sticking with the other one because the other one is it ain't any better so this is gonna cause a real bad problem when it comes down to the final decision because the people that hate one more than the other have the opposite problem that they are equally hated by the other side. So there's going to be almost like civil war when this happens. So because they, that's how much they are divided in their thought processes. Do you understand that? Okay. Oh, I think I'm talking too much. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, they both suck. Just pick one. <laughs> Great. Um, another question here is, uh, I just want to know something. It's a personal nature. In my one of my meditation, I saw a white alligator standing on two feet. I don't know what it represents. Can you connect with that and share a little bit? Um, I would have to know a little bit more about the dream, but it sounds like an ascended master from it's a different group of uh, race of people. Yeah. If it is an ascendant master that you're dreaming about from a reptilian race, they probably have a message for you. Okay. Was the rest of the dream as interesting or as vivid as the white alligator? Okay. Okay. Thank you. That was in my meditation. That's all I wanted to know. Ah, there was a message then. Okay. He will speak to you later. Okay. Great. Thank you. Much love to you, Grendel. Great. Nice talking to you. Same here. Thanks. And you can disregard everything I say because it's all crap. <laughs> okay, Grendel. <laughs> Thanks. That's great. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I just don't want anybody to get, you know, real mad at me or anything. <laughs> Not well, that it matters. Exactly. And, yeah, there's, it's so much controversy. I mean, obviously, we, we can't make a yeah, yeah. What's the next question? Yeah. Uh, next we have Carolina. Hello, Grindel. Ah, Carolina. Hello, Grindel. Nice to see you. Hello. You okay? How are you, my dear? I'm okay, thank you. Much Good. Love. I'm around you every now and then. You know that, right? Yes. I wanted to ask you about that. Um, yeah. I, I saw you and Sparkles coming to me a few, yeah. week, few weeks ago. Yeah, and and you imprinted uh, something in my forehead. I was wondering if you could tell me more about it. No, we well, we were just giving you a a blessing. Also, it was a lit, It was not an implant, but it was a crystal. The reason for the crystal is for your that portion, your third eye, to get a little stronger because we have some work for you to do with us. Oh, brilliant. Thank you so much. Okay, yeah. so, yes, brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I Sparkle have, says, hey. And I say hello back. Much love. <laughs> yeah, she's here now. She's... Oh, oh brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Grindle, uh, my human son, um, I have seen his eyes slit. And so I was wondering if you could tell me about his DNA, whether he's reptilian or, or something. There is some reptilian in him because of you, but we have also been working with him on the side a little bit. And um, he's very interested in the crystals and the stones and things of these nature. And that's because they're going to have some significance to his future. They're also guiding him with some energies and powers, not a bad thing, not a bad thing. To be oh. close to the, to the earth and the information that's collected there. You see, stones and crystals have earth information, but it's also from beyond earth in the sense that I, uh, these crystals and stones can connect to other places. So, but the first thing they do is connect you to the earth and ground you and put you in a place where you have an understanding of mother nature and the things of that particular realm or density 
So then after that, then they can help you to connect to other places and be communicating with other worlds. Right, okay. He's, he's looking for a crystal right now to buy. Um, is there anything you can suggest for him? Uh, he already has the ones that are most effective for him. He has the rose quartz are really working for him very, very well, as you know. Yes, but, um, yes. I would like to see him get perhaps something green, malachite, something okay. of that nature, because he needs to, uh, uh, more than a crystal, a stone that uh, uh, connects his heart chakra to some things around him. I think he has a little bit of malachite maybe, but I don't, he needs another little, a little more for heart connection and for uh, uh, peacefulness. He's not at peace at some times. You get that? Yeah. Okay. He needs that peacefulness that the heart chakra can give him also. He chose aventurine, green aventurine this morning. Yeah. Okay. I think Malachite will help him. Malachite. Malachite. Thank you so much, Gringo. Respect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah, later. Bye. <laughs> bye. Thank you, Gringo. Okay, we have yeah. Pavel next. Hello. Pavel. Hey, Gringo. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, great. It's very really nice to talk to you nice to speak to you <laughs> thanks so i have a <clears throat> first question um i had a child dream from the age of three or four that a reptilian was uh, chasing me and i was uh, shielding myself with a white light yeah Can you tell me a little bit about that yeah there are back then when they when you were younger there were reptilians that were still doing uh, some abducting and things of that nature. You were being protected from that because you were to, to, uh, to move forward. And they would have probably put a lot of implants in you or did some experiment or maybe even given you reptilian DNA, which you do not need. You, for your particular purpose, you need to stay away from the reptilian DNA. So uh, it would just ruin your thought processes. You would be a mess. So that's why you were uh, protected. But those, are, those creatures are not allowed to do that anymore. So you, thank goodness that they didn't get to you. So that's good. Okay. I'm not saying that all reptilians are good like me, but I'm saying that they there was a period of time when there it was a free for all with abduction on your planet so but not anymore there's still abductions happening but they're very quietly done because if they get caught they will be in big trouble does that answer your question yeah yeah thank you it was yeah uh, second one, I had. Uh, I have. Uh, you're talking about stones, and I bought a uh, shungite stone. Uh, can you tell me? And I have uh, two stones on my neck. Can you tell me if this uh, is happening? Something? It's if they're doing something what for me. What kind of stones are they? Shungite. It's a black stone from north of Russia. Ah. It's. Oh yeah, those. I see. I don't know them by their names. Sometimes that one is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those ones are not earthly stones. Um, they're sometimes they're from uh, off world, and they are very powerful. The reason Russia has so many of these particular stones is because there was a lot of battles fought in in the the galactic on in the. Siberian and Russian areas while your earth was young. And so therefore these stones have some off-world 
materials in them, like Tektite has off-world material, only in a different way. These are off-world materials that were created by aliens, not as Tektite is a natural mineral, a natural. These ones are have some elements that they do not know what they are. So, but they are very powerful, and if you intention them, they're very healing, they're very comforting, and they're very, they, you can use them for opening heart chakras, etc. Okay. Um, so you said that I might have many implants. Like, I feel um, uh, problems with, like, my... my to uh, th uh, the lower chakras, or maybe can it be connected with implants and stuff like that? Yeah, you have implants. <coughs> what is it about your lower chakra that you're questioning? <laughs> um, what is it about your uh, root chakra that you, you're questioning? I think the problem not with the root chakra, I think maybe it's uh, with the second one, the orange one. <laughs> yeah, uh, the sacral. The orange yeah. one. Oh, they want me to take a drink of water. Does it work? Yeah, I never was fond of nipples. All right. Yeah, um, there were... Um, there is some root chakra stuff going on with you and sacral. It is because of some awakening in your kundalini. I see that now. How that started to awaken, I'm not sure. But uh, you do have some implants, but they're not affecting that. This is something that's happening naturally in your body. Your kundalini has been opened by something. Are you aware of that? No, no. Actually, I'm not. Whenever you, the kundalini is open, uh, the, root the root chakra is the first affected, then the sacral. And the sacral will cause you to be, uh, have greater uh, passionate feelings, feelings of, of uh, sexual things happening and stuff. But I'm not sure how, the, how it started but your kundalini is moving up through the chakras. Okay, yes, I feel a, a, a knot, an energy knot in the second chakra, I think. And I don't let know how to a, open let it. Let me see if perhaps you have a little blockage there because A, there could be several reasons why there's a blockage at the sacral area. Because A, First of all, the, the root chakra is all about survival and, and connection to the earth and uh, instinctual creativity and mating and things of that nature, whereas the sacral is more aware of what's happening. So more aware of what the creativity and having children and uh, sexuality and uh, creativeness and all that. So the thing is about this, is if you have a creative block of some sort, then you can you possibly have a block at your sacral. Either that or your, I don't know if I want to say this in front of you. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, um, there's other things that you could be dealing with with your sexuality, things like that. You understand? Uh, yeah, I think I do. I think I do. And Excellent. my last question is, um, <clears throat> I really uh, uh, had a problem to ground myself. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Can you help me with that? That's, or? that's part of the block at the second level. Because you are not getting all the way grounded enough to move up the, your kundalini to move all the way up. So what you need to do is take a look at your third dimensional activities. Are you being more <laughs> less third dimensional than you should? If you spend too much time in the fourth dimension or reading about the fourth dimension 
or imagining it or or thinking about things that do not pertain to the third dimension, you may have a hard time grounding. So that means you should be uh, focusing on keeping your feet flat on the ground, keeping your body in line with third dimension and digging your roots deep into Mother Earth. And if you do meditation, do a grounding meditation intention that, you, that it helps you to ground and that it helps you to, to become more stable on the third dimensional thought process. You understand? Okay. Yes, yes. Thank you very much, Gwendo. You're welcome. I could go in to many different ways to do that, but I think for you that your meditation for grounding will be very helpful and to make your feet feel like roots into the ground and suck okay. up that earth energy. Yes, yes. And uh, my final question, um, so just pop into my mind, I feel my wife has a really uh really reptilian energy <laughs> is it correct and what i can balance it uh, how i can balance it let me hear uh think about her for a moment i have to connect to her i have no idea dina is yeah <coughs> is she near you no no actually not now that's why i can say it's loud all right yes that's why you're able to talk freely i understand um you know, women, you know, you can't really talk freely sometimes. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> wow, I know that. But um, it's all right. Some of them you can talk freely to. But when they have reptilian in them and they have human in them at the same time, uh, beware. Beware. <laughs> but anyway, let's see. Mm. All right. Think about, yes, there you go. You're connecting with her now. I feel it. Yeah, yeah, she has some reptilian. Oh, but, oh, something more than that. She has a little insectoid as well. They can be pretty nasty times, too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yes, you're dealing with some insectoid and reptilian energy. And when that, when that gets stirred up, then there's you're there's nothing you can do you just go go put yourself in the corner because it ain't gonna stop for a while is that the problem it just keeps going <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah I, I thought so it just keeps going and they have something set in their brain and there's no way to erase it because it just bleh. I'm sorry that you had to de have to deal with that, but you know I had to deal with it, so eh, you can too. Uh, <clears throat> but what you do is is that you have to be yourself as well, and she's depriving you of who you are in some ways. Whenever she tells you who you are, you do not have to accept that because that is all who she is that she is telling that you that you are. You understand that? Yes, yes. And that. so you must understand that when you stand up to her, you must say, look, I am a person too. I have thought processes that are valid. I'm so happy that you have a good and valid opinion. Now you can just keep it to yourself. Okay? I've already heard it. Now, if you can't do that, then run as far away as you can because she ain't going to change. The thing is, you have learned, you have to learn to tame her now. That's the only way. And it's, it's through being uh, very direct. You have to be very direct with her. You may say to her, yes, I understand your opinion, but that is your opinion and not mine. That is how you feel, and I do not feel that way. Or the, you, you may want me to do that, but I am not going to do that for this reason. And you have reasons why you don't want to do the things that are set there. So 
You have to be direct. That's the only way with reptilians and insectoids. The only thing they understand is directness. Now you don't have to be mean. You don't have to be, you don't have to be real mean. But you could say, honey, you're a little loud. I understand what you're saying. I just don't agree. I'm sorry. I love you very much. But I'm going over here right now. You know, because she's not going to agree with you. There's no way. I'm sorry. So, but you can deal with it. And she can understand that you are a strong person as well. But if she's, if she's violent, then forget it. So, um, because you can say whatever you want, but when violence comes into it, eh, run, run. <coughs> Sorry, that's my advice. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> You're was, welcome. You understood that perfectly. I know you did. Yeah. <laughs> I understand it perfectly, too, because I see what, what you're dealing with. It's not as bad as I made it sound, everybody, but, yeah, maybe it is. I don't know. But anyway. Well, yeah. Thank you, Grindel. Yeah, yeah. We love how straightforward you are. Yeah, well, can't help myself. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> um, okay, next we have a question from Krellick. Uh, Krellick. Yeah, how are those dogs doing? They're fine. Wonderful. Love them dogs. They're great. They're great. Tell me, what's your question? I actually have three questions. Um, what is the first one is what is the climate the temperature like on some of the planets that your people inhabit oh very good question because of course not all the planet is the same climate just like your world there's different climates at the poles there's different climates at the equator but our people are used to about 80 degree weather about um 80% of the year. The reason for 80% of the year is because of how elliptical the, the, the uh, revolution around our sun is and how far away we are. We're actually closer to the sun than the earth is to its sun. So we have a higher temperature. The atmosphere is a little denser in some ways because it keeps the heat in also. But uh, there's all kinds of things I could explain about that, but uh, it's, uh, we, we prefer about 80 degrees. And we prefer very uh, large veg vegetated areas because some of us eat vegetables and small animals and th different things like that, but we're still hunters. We always will be, I think, even though we have evolved to beyond that, it's fun to hunt, but I know that some of your people don't believe in eating meat and all that, but it's who we are, so that's the yeah, deal with it. So we're not bad because we eat the little animals. That's it, we, they're delicious. So, um, but I know some of you only eat vegetables, some of you only eat this and that and the other thing, but I have more power to you, I, I'm gonna eat my little furry things. So, um, but it is a wonderful planet uh, where I'm from. And at the, at the equator, it's very hot. Um, it's much more like uh, 180, 200 degrees sometimes in certain parts of the year. So very few uh, live above the soil in that area. Some are underground. But still, there are animals and things they have their underground um, uh, tunnels that reach for thousands of miles under the earth and things of, uh, under their earth, our earth, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's not called earth, but that's what you call your place. But just to make a reference, it's like an earth. Yeah, we, you know what I mean. So there's thousands of miles under there that we can 
tunnel through and get to different places on the planet, even under some of the oceans. We're good like that. So, all right, next question. Uh, do your people have uh, snouts or elongated faces? Sort of short. Sort of short. Not real long like crocodiles or alligators. It's, but more like that than, say, the Elias Shandai Zendi. Theirs are real short. Ours are a little longer. Yeah, we have a little longer snout than they do. But it's not real long like an alligator. <laughs> not like that, no. And yeah. my, my third question is, a few years ago, I had a dream where I met a reptilian being, but I ended up jumping on him and I started beating him. I, yeah, um, nice guy you are. Why were you beating on him? I wasn't sure if he was a good being or a, or a, or a malevolent one. It was my first experience uh, with a reptilian. Find out. Um, uh, well, I think that, be, that dream just shows that you're a little bit afraid of meeting reptilians in person because there are good reptilians and bad reptilians. So you assume that when you meet a reptilian, you're going to have to protect yourself. So, okay, that's fine. But um, they won't let you jump on them and beat them. They'll beat you to death first. But um, you may be afraid of them. I would try to communicate first, but that's a dream about a fear of reptilians, basically. And I understand that there's many of you on your planet that have a real fear of reptilians. I don't know, maybe because we're so blunt. I'm not sure. Or maybe because they did the, so many of the um, abductions. Greys did the worst of the abductions. I mean, they were the most cruel. Even the, even the um, reptilians weren't as cruel as the greys. So <clears throat> I'll have to defend them in that area. Yeah, I actually had a I actually had a reptilian friend who was a member of your race that dealt with uh, uh, protecting me sometimes. Oh, why? Why did they reject you? Oh no, he was just one. Of, he was just one of uh, some of the people that were protecting me because, according to oh. to Kerr, that there are some beings that don't like me because of what I am doing. Oh, I understand now what you're saying. Okay, yeah, but still that dream was a fear of reptilians' dreams. But you may have friendly reptilians, but if you're not sure who they are, you still fear them. So, but yes, I'm sure you could still have a reptilian friend. It's, I, I know that earthlings have similar dreams about each other. They're not sure who's safe and who's not safe. So it, they do have dreams that perhaps this person not, is not safe or that person is not safe. So you understand where I'm talking about. Yes. Yeah. Uh, thank you for that. You're welcome. Thank you, Grendel. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, have, we have a question next from Jess444. She's yeah. asking... A group of greys are manipulating my chakras, keeping me sick and my vibrations low. Elias is the main grey. He has a diamond on his forehead. Can you help in my protection and their release from me? Is this oh, yeah. vendetta he has against me from a specific past life experience that I can clear? Much love and thank you. Yeah, for you'll have to go into that past life and clear it. And then he'll be gone because he won't have anything left. If you go into that past life regression, clear it up, <clears throat> forgive everybody and have them forgive you, which is possible. Because once you forgive them or apologize to them, then they have to forgive you. And then they do not have a vendetta against you any longer. However, the, the gray with the diamond on the forehead is a member of royalty. So you must have done something in royal family to these greys. So um, you don't just have greys walking around with diamonds on their forehead. That's very unusual. So therefore, it's a very powerful 
individual, this particular grave. Please find out what this past life is. Actually, hold on one moment. Yeah. Just four, four, four. <coughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. You're going to have to go back. He's pretty powerful, and he has a pretty good hold on you right now. Do a meditation that you can see this past life. He is blocking me from doing anything with you at all. So do a meditation. When you meditate, make sure that you get into your heart chakra and that you can see this past life for what it really was so that you can get rid of this guy. He's bad news. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm sure um, she will follow that advice or at least consider it. So thank you, Brindle. Definitely appreciate yeah, well, it. She can go to someone too to do a past life regression. But if she can do it herself, it costs less money. Yeah, so that's right. That's good. For sure. But if you can't, save your pennies, honey. You need to get rid of that guy. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, we have a question next from Sarah. Sarah. Hello, Grendel. Much Sarah. love to you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I have a question. Recently, my eyes have been glossing over while I'm awake. And then after it glosses over, I feel energies connecting to my third eye. Yes. And it is happening more often than it ever did ever before. This is something yeah. new. Yeah. And you I'm wondering what that is. With the Hathors. And um, I talked to them about that because they're the only ones that are really, really working with you. They have uh, ideas of how to increase your energy and your toning abilities. They are really, really wanting you to be stepping out and becoming something extraordinary in, in this particular realm. So they are working with you to be, make you actually a little bit more a Hathor in, Hathor in, their, in your presentation. So they are working with you, uh, but um, they're actually taking, are you missing time as well? Not that I'm aware of, but it's there are a lot of energies uh, connecting to me every day. Yes. Um, I, I'll talk to the Hathors for you, but they're... They, no, I'm not saying anything wrong. I just want to know what that was about. Yeah, it's all awesome. about them. In, in, they're, in, they're modulating and making improvements on, on your human portions and making them a little less human. If that's something that you are okay with, then continue. But I would speak to them because I don't know if they ask permission to alter your physiology in some ways and your mental psychic abilities. But I think that you are in uh, a good connection with them. They are just making you, they're altering you actually. So, yeah. So this has nothing to do with the Nagas then? The Nagas are in favor of this. But the, it's the Hathors that have all the power. You know, <clears throat> the Nagas are actually supporting with energies. Yes. You're feeling Naga energy as well. Yeah, I'm feeling both are <laughs> yeah. happening. Yeah. They're supporting. There's no question. Yeah. No question. Okay. But you don't have anything specific about what's happening with the eyes. No, it's just an alteration, and it will help you to become a greater toner and more psychic. Awesome. 
That's what it's I've all been about, asking honey. for that. Yeah. yeah, that's what it's all about. Okay, very well. Thank they you. They won't let me know all the full extent of what they're doing, but that I do know. All right. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Much love. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Grindel. Interesting. Um, we have a question next from the YouTube live chat from yeah. Allie. Allie. And give me one second here. Okay. Allie would like to know. Yeah. She said, um, Yeah, I go. <clears throat> yeah. I think I saw a reptilian during the daylight when I was 12 in Africa. Could you please expand on that? And do you mm. have any messages for me? Yeah. <clears throat> it's amazing how many reptilians are in South America and Africa. They're all a lot. That is the area that we most relate to on your planet is the densely forested areas and the high humidity and the temperatures. So yeah, you probably did. No question. I, I believe you probably did see a reptilian. There are a lot of them there. The other thing about a message for you is that you've had some visitations recently and they're going to continue and i'm not sure who it is that's visiting you it's not reptilians but it is there is a species that wants to make you an ambassador to their their planet but they have not yet revealed themselves to you fully are you aware of that oh i don't know if you can talk to i don't know but they're they are there and they are watching you and seeing how you react to their energy. You understand this, correct? She probably does, yes. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. How are you doing, Grindel? Yeah. And how is Jim? Yeah. What do you what else? <laughs> um, okay, we have a question next from Sheer. Sheer. <laughs> Hey, Grendel. Yeah. Well, a couple of days ago, maybe a week ago, I had um, a very bizarre dream. And a part of him, I think it was uh, when I was in a dark field and I saw three dragons. And three what? They like full with light, uh, white light surrounding them. Three what? Three dragons. Oh, three dragons. All right. And there was a white light around them? Yeah. First time I saw a dragon, I wanted to see one since I was a child. It was the what? first time. What did the center one look like? Was it different than the other two? I don't remember. Or were they all three the same? Well, I remember one of my friends or someone in my human friend form um, asked me if I know their names and I think it was the names of my friends but I was frustrated that I didn't recognize their name but I did ah. saw them something about that I think it was a teaching moment or something ah all right let me see if I can get to the meaning of that because usually when there's white lights around anything, it could be ascended masters, it could be someone in spirit, it could be a couple of different things. But you did it seem like there was a message attached to this dream? Well, it was very bizarre and very long. In a part of it, I think it was a dream within a dream and I had a hard time to see it. Then I just saw with one of my eyes, and then I woke up. It was very bizarre, then went to a lot of places, you can say. I think they were there to let you know that they were three of the, three of the dream masters from the draconian species. 
usually the dream masters appear in threes and what is meant by that is they're opening up your thought processes so that dreams can become realities so you're in a state where some of your dreams are becoming realities at this time and they're telling me that that is why you traveled to a lot of different places is you were picking up evidences of your dreams that you were that you are now manifesting okay i understand. don't know what those dreams are but they certainly must be interesting for sure <laughs> definitely i most of my dreams i can't even say one word about them it's just uh, too bizarre in a good way like yes i think that what happened is now that you're bringing fourth dimensional ideas into third dimensional uh fourth dimensional aspects and because there are some things that are part of your future that are actually from the fourth dimension from Remulac and Amok so therefore they are bringing some of this information to you so you can move it into a third dimensional reality yeah is there something I should do just wait um if there is, I don't know what it is. They'll have to, Remulac will have to tell you about that. But okay. I can see that they're behind it. Okay, thank you very much. That's good. Yeah, Amok, yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, we have a question, <clears throat> excuse me, next from Liney. And Liney, are you able to ask yourself? I know you popped back in. Yeah. Great. Yeah, cool. <clears throat> Hi, Grindel. Greetings. Hello. Um, first of all, I want to send my love. And mine. Yes, thank yeah. you. Okay. No, long time no chat to you. Um, yeah, the, some of the up... I don't want you to get in trouble here, so don't answer it if, um, if you don't want to. But um, is some of the upcoming stuff... Um, partly to do with disclosure as well there will be a little bit about that yes but the things that are will be happening will be on particular continents in continental ways the the north american continent the european continent the asian continent those are the three big players but i can't say more than that in fact they say that's too much to That's say, much. but <laughs> uh, there's nothing. <laughs> how, how, how about the UK? Are we? Is there upcoming? You have. You are actually a catalyst. The United Kingdom is actually a catalyst for some of the things that will happen. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> um, also, uh, I was interested to know. Um, there's um, uh, a lizard on our planet called a moni monitor. What? There's a big lizard on our planet called a, mo a monitor. Yes. It's really big. Is, um, is uh, there any beings um, like that or relate closely related to them? Yes, there are. There yeah. are beings similar to a lot of different animals on your planet. So, but I couldn't tell you the species, but I know that some of these species that look similar to some of the animals that you point out are not highly evolved yet, but they are intellectual in the sense that they are going through their own evolution. And with that, just as on your planet, some of these evolutions are helped along by other species. <laughs> naughty, naughty. <laughs> but it happens. <laughs> but look at you guys. You are like so successful as a hybrid species. The most successful hybrid species in the galaxy slash universe. So that is why your ascension is so important. 
Well, that's nice. Oh, do, just one last thing. Um, it, have you got any messages for me? Is there anything I should know? Yeah, yeah. Um, you're uh, you're going to a, a be invited to go to Era very shortly for a very special occasion. So Ken Jean will be inviting you very shortly. Oh, lovely! I look forward to that. <laughs> Thank you, um, Grindel. Much love to you. Much and love. love. Not too much love, yeah. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Not too much love, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's your thing. Yeah, just like a temperate baby. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Um, we have a question from uh, Jonah next, and um, she's asking, let's see, she says, I've been doing sign language, galactic language, translating uh, some events I attend in my life. Yeah. Maybe, maybe channelings. Um, can you please tell me what is the purpose of the translation and for what species? If you're doing galactic, I'm not sure which galactic language you're doing. However, um, the interpretation and the speaking of the language is to let people know that you are connected from uh, from off world way. And the the uh, the interpretation is to let them know that this is beyond something that you may know as an individual. You are speaking to people about information that they need to know and may resonate on several different levels with, and that is a beautiful thing. Now, that will become something else in the future. You may be able to start channeling without the use of a language. You may be able to start bringing messages without using another language. So we'll see. It depends on what your path of evolution with this particular uh, this particular gift is. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah. All right. Um, we have a question next from Ina, who mm. um, had said, I can't handle the current energies at all, or maybe it's something else. Do you have any advice for me? Yes. Meditate on and meditate on these energies. Make them part of who you are so that you can handle them. You have to be a part of the earth energies, the galactic energies, and the fourth dimensional energies so that you were able to move forward in your purpose. It if obviously you are someone that is highly evolved because Otherwise, these energies would not be affecting you so badly. So you need to get them into perspective. It's not, don't say I can't handle them. Say I need to be able to handle them. Let's do a meditation and let, bring in some understanding how to get a handle on these because they will be awesome in the future for you. You cannot just reject them. They're going to be there. They're, going to, they're not going away. They are not going away. Well, the fourth dimensional energy in this present state will go away by the end of January. But the other energies, absolutely not. But if the best thing to do is incorporate them into yourself with meditation. Make sure that you can, that they are part of who you are because it's going to open your eyes to a lot of different energy uses that have not been used before in this dimension. Third dimension is changing. Third dimension is changing. So be aware of that and don't say I can't handle it because you can. You just are weak right now from the being beat up by the energies. Go into a meditative state and, and uh, put an intention on it that you now are starting to Become one with it because that is your greatest ally right now are these energies. They'll keep you safe. They'll keep you healthy. They'll keep you moving forward. So don't reject them. Yeah. 
Okay, so so it's the energies. It's not um, someone manipulating me or, you know. No. If you're feeling that it's the energies, it's the energies. They're being very honest. No, let me see. Hold on. You do have beings around you, but they're not manipulating you. The energy is so hard on you because you're so sensitive to this energy change. You need to get in line with it. That's what it is. What beings around me? You have some beings around you. There's about three of them. But the, they're not manipulating you. Good beings or negative beings? They are very good. Hold on. Oh. One moment, please. They're protective beings. You've been through a lot of harshness. You've been through a lot of things that humans shouldn't have to endure. And so they are there to protect you from more harshness from other beings. But what you're experiencing now is energy problems. You are so sensitive to this energy that it is causing you to be, wow, all over the place. They're going to try to help you to uh, meditate and get this all in line. Okay, thank you. I have another question. Um, yes. Do you have any advice for me personally regarding the coming changes? Um, the economy crash and everything and what's everything that's happening will be good for you because well i am in quite inner terror that absolutely paralyzes me because i have no money no job and no good people around me i'm so all that alone. is why it will be a positive for you okay. you cannot it it will change how you are because it will bring people down to your level in the sense that it'll bring them into your understanding and you will actually move up. They will move down and you will move up. Okay. But you must believe that. Your belief systems have been challenged to a point where it's hard for you to believe in hardly anything. So remember, this is your challenge. Get used to these energies first because that will be a big plus for you. You will not have to dwell in things coming, continuing to go down. It can't go down anymore. Let them bring us, let it come up. Okay. Grab there, uh, these energies. You do have protective beings around you. Use them. They, they care about you, but they, they're not sure how to help you fully, except for the, with this meditation. They're going to try to pull you up through this. And they're going to try to, they've also already tried to regulate the energy that's coming in. You have a great deal of energy coming into you. Wow. So, and you're sensitive to it. So they're trying to regulate that. But uh, it's, oh, they can only do so much. So and therefore, take matters into your own hands and meditate on the energies and getting them in line. First of all, that's the very first thing to do. Second of all, Ask for the help of these protective beings to help you with uh, these guidelines, with the energy. Help them, ask them to help you get this energy in line. And then the things that are, will be happening will actually be positive for you and not negative. Hey, um, is there any DNA infusion that would be helpful for me? One yeah. moment. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yes, there is. But I can't tell you in front of everybody. Okay. I will tell you offline. Just write a note to the Skype, to Jim, and I will get back to him and tell you. Okay. Or can I talk to Gertrude Muir? Just... Yeah, no. Okay. I'll tell you. Okay. okay. Thank it's you. not Gertrude Muir energy. Nope. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you, Grindel. Um, so <laughs> we're getting we have a little bit more time left. We we're wondering if anyone else would like to join us this morning. Yeah, I can go. Oh, uh, but we'll miss you, Grindel. Have a good one. Uh, you know, whatever your bye byes are, I don't know. So I uh, take care. Uh, or Vitor Zane or something. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> you take care, um, too, Grindel. Thank you for joining. We love you. 
All right. Love you. Oh, yeah. Love you, too. Yeah, to a <laughs> certain, yeah, whatever. So um, <laughs> uh, I'll talk to you later. Sounds good. And, uh, oh, see you, man. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wait. Hello. Hello. Thank you for coming. Who are we speaking with? Make you see. I am one of the hybrid children that is on Maya. Oh, thank you for joining us. That's I heard beautiful. stories that this place is fun. Yes, fun is a great way of putting it. <laughs> well, you visit me sometimes. Many people from your planet visit me, and I am happy to see them. They are fun. Oh, yeah. thank you. I, I think I missed your name. Could you repeat that? No. Mm. Okay. That's fine. Could we know how old you are? In... Earth years? I guess so. I'm going to figure it out. I, I guess am any of it. Two. I am two. Oh. Point one. Two point one. Okay. Wow. Yeah. You're very young, aren't you? They allow me to come. They thought you should know what we are like when we are 2.1. <laughs> That's wonderful. And we are appreciating you to come. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's very exciting. You want to ask me about anything that a 2.1 year old can answer? Yeah, what race are you from? Race. Race. Species. Oh. Species. Yes. Race. I thought of running. <laughs> um animals running people's running like racing yes um species i am you yell and human oh beautiful you have a very lovely energy energy yes lovely energy I like lovely energies as well. Oh, well, this is great. So we, um, we did have some questions. Um, is there anything, first of all, you would like to 
tell us, the human collective, right now? Um, you are far away. You have lots of people just like we do, but you look different. I like all my friends. They all look different, too. Some of them are kitty cats, as you call them. Some of them are rough skins. Some of them are just like me. Some of them are different colors. Yes, I like the different colors. They're friendly. Friendly green, friendly blue. Friendly green, friendly blue. You are so much oh. fun. <laughs> Pleiadians, that's what they're called, Pleiadians. Yes. So it's a hard there, word. It's a hard most... word for me. Um, I've heard word. that Maya is a Pleiadian planet, but there's more than just Pleiadians there, right? There is now, yes. Yes, there is. Now there is. Pleiadian is a hard word. I can't spell it yet. Okay. No, I can't spell it in your earth words. problem well this is very exciting to have you come forth today <laughs> um wonderful did have you been able to talk with any other earth humans about their um experiences or um I'm curious what your take on our planet is. Take? I'm not going to take your planet. <laughs> Sorry, I, what I meant is, I'm curious what your thoughts on our planet is. What thoughts? How, yeah, what you uh, think of us or um, feel or anything. Um, you are friendly. Uh, you talk a lot. Um, you don't like to hold the babies that need changed because you don't know how to change them on this planet. So you hold the dry ones. You hold all the dry ones. Oh. You like to talk funny language. Um, they are teaching me English, but I did not know what goo goo meant for quite a while. And gaga. Except that it was one of your artists on your planet, gaga. Yes, Lady Gaga. Um, that's very interesting that you're learning those words. <laughs> yes. Well, I don't, there I don't was. I think it's very helpful to learn goo goo. I'll tell you mm -hmm. that right now. <laughs> well, I have learned that goo is something that I do not want. And so when they speak it to me, I say no. No goo goo. Okay. <laughs> no goo goo. Gaga, okay, but no goo goo. That is funny. <laughs> this is very funny. Um, what games do you play? Um, they taught us patty cake. Patty cake. It is a hand game. Hand game. And we also do talking games. Repeat after me game. Repeat after me. Say mommy, say daddy. Not sure why. Not sure why. But fun. I like saying those words. They are fun. So I do guess you know my, my mommy and daddy 
some of them parts of me are from earth so that is why they say that and 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 i understand hello do you yes. have brothers and sisters brothers oh older yes older sister older sister uh different than me she is more like mom and dad as you say less like me i'm hybrid Do you know other hybrid childs, uh, children? Oh, oh, yes. Many, many friends. Yes, they are friends. I like my friends. Many, maybe you know my child? What's your child name? I believe it's Emok, Amok. You no, 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 that name. Hmm. I see. Did you ever saw me though in one of my visits? Um, maybe I don't know what you is that. What you look like there? Black eyes. Oh, sun worshiper looked like. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's okay. Maybe your eyes one. very big like you, you know, but the rest of face no. Maybe we will meet. Um, body, no. Body, no. No, I don't think I see you before. You're strange looking. <laughs> okay. Okay. But you come, I say hello. Yes. Hello. I will say hello. I'm friends with everybody. Nobody I dislike yet. Are you Everybody able to feel right? other people's energies to know whether other, or not you've met them? Yes, I like other energies. Other energies, good. Yes, good fun. Can you connect to my energy and tell whether or not you've met me? One moment. I do not see you. Yes, I understand. But can you connect to my energy? Connect to your energy. I feel energy coming from you, so yes, that must be you. Yes, my name is Sarah. Sarah. Yes. That's unfun to say. Yeah. <laughs> fun to say. I yes, I feel your energy. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Thank Very you. Very good. I believe I've gone to my uh, a number of times. Maybe we meet. I feel energy yeah. like yours before. Human energy. But yours is a little bit stronger. Just a little. Yes. Yes. Yes, I was told I take care of the babies there sometimes. Ah, I'm no longer baby. But yes, I understand. I'm still with the babies because I like to talk to the babies. And we like to be around the babies. Me and my friends like the babies. Uh-huh. The babies are, what is your word? Cute. Mm -hmm. Cute. I like that word. Cute. And you speak the Yaya language right now? Yes. I can speak Yaya. My mother and father... Are you you here? And part of my uh, heredity, they're saying heredity is human. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> you talk funny. But yes. yes. I understand what you say. Thank you. Thank you. But you have accent. Yes, I think so. Human accent. <laughs> Is that all right? I 
I still understand. Very I have good. to go. They said I have to go. Well, much love to your whole family and everybody on Maya. I have to go. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> yeah, lovely oh. energy. Thank you for coming. They're making it was fun. I don't want to go. Oh. <laughs> you are lovely. Yeah, Thank you me. for coming. No. Or maybe you can come visit again soon. I take your butt. I can't get that. I'm not getting it to a fun. Yeah. All right. They make me go. We are Bye. so happy we got to talk to you. Thank you. We love you. Bye. 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 Hello? Hey, Jim. Hi, how are you? <laughs> well, um, that was interesting. Was not expecting that at all. Um, expecting what? Um, we, we didn't get his or her name. I kind of felt like it might have been female, but I don't know. A 2.1-year-old Yael hybrid child from Maya. Okay. <laughs> That's why it felt strange. Yeah. It felt very strange. That last one I couldn't really connect to as far as the thought process. So I just was I just let it go. Yeah, that was fascinating. Especially the weight. I mean, it's just so similar. It's just <laughs> amazing. Well, he was adorable. He was talking yeah. through a translator, I think. Oh, okay. But she was hearing the words. It's not like a baby voice. I mean, her voice is. Oh, okay. Maybe yeah. she wasn't talking through a translator then. It sounded like an infant. It sounded like an infant? Okay. Yeah. That was incredible. Okay. Wow. All right. Well, Does anybody you, want to say a closing, closing prayer? Wow. Yeah, well, I couldn't connect to the last one, so I, I'll have to listen to that part. <laughs> I think you will get some humor out of it and some uh, insight into okay. the hybrid children. They've been on my mind a lot recently, so um, I wonder that was why they let a child come through. It will. She specific. She or he specifically said they wanted you guys to hear from a two point one year old per perspective. Okay. So we did. Okay. It very good. Yeah. Huh? So. Okay. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah. As far as uh, blessings, I think Carolina had just raised her hand. Okay, good. Anybody else? Hello. All right, go ahead. You're first. Oh, hi. Sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't think my sound was working well. <laughs> I'd love to say a prayer because this last channeling made me so emotional and connected to my human children, my hybrid children. And I say it on behalf of the rest of the human parents. Very nice. Uyata yana kuwata ayya niyatua ayya niyaka ayya ayya niyaka yakua ayya niyalua uwa nana yaliyatu uwa kaka yana kuwanata Yes, Ananuakuata, Ayanuata, Yana Nanayatu, Uananayaka, Yakuata, Nanayati, Ah, Lakayanukuanata, Yata Nanayatu, Yanana, Yaka Nanayatu, Ayaka, Ananayatua. 
Thank you. The universe is a very strange and diverse place. But we all have feelings of some sort and all expressed emotions and information about how we feel toward one another and how we feel internally. The time is now that we become familiar with who we are as species, as individuals, as God's children, and as creators of our own realities. Make sure that you are your own person and are living the life that is true to yourself. Do not let others block who you are or any of your creativity. Much love. Thank you, that was beautiful. Um, I think I would like to do one. I'm not sure what will come through. Okay. But let's see what happens. <laughs> Irio toru shuo yeti o kosho no toru tu yeti o anata o sheti ita ya kosho no toru shuo tu yeta ina to to shuo to ya hana to akasha na ta ya toru to yeta tasha ni ya to shuata. Itoro to tayakashuru to yetai at haoshua. Across your entire planet, there is a wind of change. This wind of change and diversity will change your thought processes and the way you see things in some ways. This is not just true to your planet, but true to your solar system and the galaxy as well there are many thought processes that are changing and maturing and becoming a part of things that were never there before energies that are being born and coming alive in the necessity of change be therefore aware and be therefore alive and be therefore part of all the good things that you can connect yourself to. Much love and many blessings to your species as you rise. Oh, Jim, do you know uh, what civilization that was? Because I was not expecting that. Um. I don't know. They didn't give us species on that. Did anybody hear what species that was? It was it something a little a bit different. Lyrian. It was Lyran? It, it sounded a bit Lyran. Yeah, it, it sounded a bit Lyran, but it didn't, wasn't like... It wasn't quite. Lyran. Yeah. It didn't sound completely Lyran, though. I'm not mm -hmm. sure what that was. We'll someday find out. <laughs> That's the truth for everything, isn't it? Yes, we'll someday find out. <laughs> That's right. I'd wow. like to go next. Please, Sarah. Yes. There are many representatives that are there to speak for their species to your planet, but your planet is actually more speaking to us. We are learning more about who you are and more of 
what you are wanting out of your lives and your futures than ever before. This is a time when we are listening instead of speaking. We are feeling instead of emoting. We are learning who you want to be with us. And that is a great adventure that we are on together. We are willing to help, but only in the ways that you permit us to. So therefore, we offer our hand in friendship, but you have yet to take it in a full grasp. So we are welcome and we know this, but we understand where you are and we will wait for your friendship to become complete. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Oh. Wonderful. Oh, really. Already Beautiful done. day. Absolutely. Well, thank you everybody for joining. This has been wonderful. We had a 2.1 year old join us for the first time, <laughs> perhaps in the human collective, who knows? Um, so that yeah, it's been <laughs> incredible. <laughs> yeah. So thank you. And um, everyone keep, just keep pushing forward. I know I've, it seems like people are getting a lot of pushes right now to start doing things and creating new projects and everything with the, the new moon, the black moon that uh, was last night and just everything. Things really seem to be coming together. Um, and we yes. have so much support in so many different realms that we can't even see your sense. And so wow. do what you got to do. Yes, for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, I think with that, we can end for today. Thank you, everyone, and blessings to everyone. Blessings to everyone. It's good to see you all. And I think finally we have 25 online here. We do. It's wonderful. I'm and so glad they fixed that. <laughs> yes, I think it's the first time that I've seen 25. I was just looking at it and went, oh, I think there's 25 on there. Yeah, so, we had a lot of people. And we had uh, about 25 people watching on YouTube, too. So pretty big crowd today. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So wow, thank you, excellent. everyone, for contributing your energy, no matter if you're watching now or later or whenever. Um, this is always just such a joy that, that we have the opportunity to do these together. It's incredible. So we are appreciative. So with that said, everyone take care, and we love you. Love you too. Have a great day, everybody. <laughs> Good 